So uh, this is this is what we've woken up to in Kuala Lumpur. Tropical rain stuff. And um, we're going to have a walk out nonetheless anyway. It's bustling, exactly what you'd expect. But well, we've got two days off to go and um, walk around in the rain. Can't wait. Okay, so here's the patrol of the Twin Towers. Woo! And there's the bridge we aim to get to somehow. But we don't even know how to get in yet. That's the interesting Well, side. I've got over the worst of it. I can actually look over the edge. I can't look totally over the edge, but I can kind of just look at the edge and feel the bridge moving. You can feel the bridge moving. I, can I, feel I the can't feel the bridge moving. Let's just go down there. Yeah, it's 120 tons of bridge. Yeah, but moves in the wind. It doesn't move in the wind. It does I move. Can't, I can't feel it It's moving. got to move. Definitely can't feel it move. It's a nice view though, but I'm looking forward to the bit one a bit higher up now. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Because <laughs> this, is, this is okay. This is okay, but it's this not, not okay. quite high enough for your liking. No, it's not high enough for my liking no. yet. No, no, no. no. I'd say uh, liking of the heights is but we should, slightly different. But we should say congratulations to ourselves for getting this far. It certainly should. Most people I know would have got this far. Would have got And they'd this have far. mocked me for not getting this far. <laughs> I'll just follow you over there, behind you, slowly getting further behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. See, this is actually better. It's easy, isn't it? This? That's the other tower, so you can see that that is, we are at the top. Pretty cool. Yeah, I know, well, I know why you would feel it, find it hard. You think it's condensation on the window, but it's not, it's calm. That's better, you can see it now. It's weird when you're looking on top of the skyscrapers, you're looking actually on top of other skyscrapers. It's a lifetime experience. This is a once in a lifetime yeah, experience. Yeah, I'm kind of coping with it and I'm not actually weeping. <laughs> <laughs> but just the once. <laughs> I only need to experience it once. I don't need to keep going through it over and over again. I don't see it as a, as a real picture. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like you're looking at it. It's almost like you're looking at it on a. TV or something. Weirdly. Like. You can't see that, but there's people walking around on the top of that oh, one. Yeah, I think what's crazy is one of those cranes sitting on the top of there. If that was on the ground, just a crane on the ground, I'd have problems getting up just to the you know the bit where you drive it. But it's all the way. It's a hell of a long way. I've gone to the glass, touch the glass, touch the glass in the corner. I'm very, I'm very proud of you, Lee, for overcoming oh, your, you. uh, your, your fear of heights. Thanks. Well, not overcome it, just dealt with it for 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm certainly not overcome it. Anyway, we better go. I think they're going to chuck us out. Yeah. 12 hours, then two hours stopover, then four hours. That two hours stopover? Yeah. Whereabouts? Hong Kong. Where are we? So we're in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. BB fans and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon I think. So it's easy week this week. Matinee, easy mate. week this week. Yeah. Day off today, day off tomorrow and then we've got a club show on Thursday at the B. B. And then we fly to Hong Kong on Friday and on Saturday we do clock and flap. Clock and flap. The reason we're out here is in Hong Kong, 60,000 people. Then we fly back to London and then we have 10 days off and then we start a Christmas tour. Cardiff. Cardiff. Cardiff's going to see St. Davis Hall. St. Davis Hall. Cardiff's yeah. going to seem so exotic after Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, uh, we're now with each other for the next five months. So, oh, sure. tour a month, basically, until April the 26th. Yay! It's the last night at the Albert Hall. Yeah. <laughs> We've got another pool day. Yay. We've got a pool day. <laughs> We're here in the, in, the, in the infinity pool. Hang on then, let me just do that. Look at it. Wow, we're on the roof. We're on the roof. Relaxing. Relaxing old pool. Wednesday? No idea. <laughs> I mean, I've got absolutely nothing to say. Don't need to. There's nothing to say. Because we haven't done anything. We're just here by the pool, aren't we? Absolutely nothing to say. 
Got a gig tomorrow, though. Yeah. <laughs> today yeah very well I know that this is the last show we've got so looking forward to doing yeah. our last show and heading off home yeah it's, it's nice to do a show um, where we're not completely knackered actually isn't it? no I actually feel quite refreshed considering it's uh, it's the end of a month of, uh, of hard work and touring so uh, yeah very yeah, good this, this festival seems to be really chill this is this is not like any kind of British festival is it where like you have to sort of present your passport and your birth certificate and then get directed in the wrong direction across six or seven muddy fields <laughs> in order to get into a uh, British festival whereas here they've just opened the gate and let us in that's it yeah it's very... and they told us that there's a free bar yeah yeah <laughs> I tell you that's a travesty <laughs> the, the things that we have to endure while we're on the road <laughs> <laughs> it's arduous, could, believe you me. Yeah, if they could have made it a little bit harder for us, perhaps yeah. they could have dropped us off on, in the, on across the other side of the Chinese border. <laughs> and, um, on top of that, it's incredibly warm. It's lovely. The weather's great. Yeah, so weather's normally, the UK festivals, it's tipping it down, and we should have an audience that don't have to watch us from underneath brollies. <laughs> it should be really cool. <laughs> and no, it doesn't add to the fun. <laughs> it does not at all. No, not at all. They no. kind of obscure the vision a little yeah. bit, you know. Hey. No, I think anybody that says, oh yeah, it's part, of the, it's part of the experience, traipsing through mud and getting absolutely, you know, absolutely messed up is part of the experience. It's not, is it? It's just, no. it's definitely not. I don't see as there's anything fun in getting <laughs> wet through and crapped up with mud. And I just don't see the appeal. Sorry, could yeah, be... Uh, yeah. Especially when you've got costumes. You know? Yeah, hopscotching and, <laughs> yes. and the like. Yeah, stepping stones to get to like stage. costume suicide, isn't it? Oh, like, it's which, incredible. Which hole is going to be deeper than the next? <laughs> That's right, yeah. How far is the mud going to come up the leg yeah, of your trousers? Yeah, yeah. Should we roll our, our, our legs up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're laughing for, because it's not even funny. Good. So I've just put my contact lenses in for the gig, which I do every gig. And it got me thinking, there's a documentary on Discovery Channel. What I've been trying to for, who cares, I don't know. But it got me thinking, Columbo, Peter Falk and yeah. Sammy Davis Jr. were both born on the same day. Yeah. Well, the same month, of course, right. obviously. Um, the one reason I know that, they got their eyes swapped. That's why Peter Falk's eye was as it was. 
Sammy Davis is, is, is what he was. It's not because of the accidents or whatever was in their biography. It's because they were swapped their eyeballs at birth. Well, this, I'll, I'll speak the truth, so... You know. I know you um, It's not funny, funny either, so... <laughs> you can tell I'm bored. <laughs> when will this boredom ever end? Yeah, so... Anyway, that's the truth, so... Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. <laughs>